in Investing 101 today, John Beaver, the founder of Phase 3 Advisory Services, joins us now with what he calls overlooked opportunities in medical companies for COVID treatments. Thanks so much for coming on our show, John, and what can you tell us? Well, things are constantly changing. That's one thing that we know about COVID. And the FDA actually just recently uh, issued an emergency use authorization for blood plasma. This is a good thing and may even benefit those companies that are working on monoclonal antibodies. Uh, we also have recently uh, some news that maybe Trump wants to accelerate approval of the AstraZeneca Oxford vaccine. So this just underscores how things change rapidly. We really don't know what is going to be the leading treatment. So therefore, it's really important that you look at diversifying your portfolio and be sure to include small caps if you want to invest in the COVID area from a medical standpoint. There's over 30 companies that are actually doing human trials on vaccines and over 100 candidates. So if you think about trying to pick the right, right one, that's actually fairly speculative. So you might want to stay with some that are a little bit more diversified, a little larger, Pfizer, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson. You could also look at Novavax or mRNA. But this is all well known and the government has awarded billions of dollars to these companies and so they're well publicized people know about this and therefore there's downside risk if not approved so people should be looking also in some other areas what are some of your tips about staying diversified going into these other areas of the medical arena so you could take a look at a therapeutic uh, there's a couple of companies that are interesting here so there's uh, one approach that looks at trying to interrupt the viral replication by building fake building blocks for the COVID virus. A small, highly speculative microcap company is Biosig, something that most people haven't heard of. They're actually known for a heart ablation device. They've just come out with a new generation device. So that's the primary focus of the company, but they've actually ended up with a, uh, a treatment, a therapeutic, for COVID and it is called Mary Mepidib. It is currently in trial, but what's interesting is it can be taken orally. So it doesn't need to be intravenous. It's oral can be used on the early diagnosis of COVID and it actually interrupts the nucleoside guanosine. Now, this is in opposition to Gilead, which is well known, but also in this space, Gilead Science is an $82 billion company. They require intravenous use. It is typically used later in stage with more critical patients, and it actually interrupts the nucleoside adenosine. Their drug is remdesivir, well known. They actually just submitted a new drug application. It is called Veclary. That is the actual uh, street name of the drug. And uh, they have thousands of patients that have been uh, taking this drug on emergency use authorization as well as phase three. So we're expecting some information from Gilead, perhaps even within the next 30 days. Anything else you'd like to add that investors should be watching for right now in the market? Things can come out of the blue. Uh, there's always something new on the internet in terms of uh, what's happening in other countries and different treatments. Uh, even one that I heard of the other day, um, uh, Ivermectin. So uh, just be careful in this area because there's a lot of moving targets. Don't concentrate, don't buy on the hype days, whatever you do, wait for things to settle down. This is a marathon and not a sprint. Thanks so much, John, for joining us for Investing 101. Thank you. Yeah, and check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.